So let's imagine we wanted to type values like this, right? Uh, it's, it's an array of numbers nested. Like you can nest numbered arrays inside other numbered arrays. So we would need a recursive type in order to describe this. This is an example of a recursive type here. So we're saying nested numbers can be a number or an array of nested numbers. Just like a JavaScript expression, you know, if you say x equals five or x equals the result of this function, well, first we're gonna run the function and then we're gonna get the return value. And then finally, we're gonna assign it to the variable. Type aliases are processed in much the same way. And so what's happening here is we're saying, all right, it's allowed to be a number. It's allowed to be this type, which I know we're in the process of defining. So I'm gonna put a pin in that. All right, now I'm gonna say this is type nested numbers and it sort of all fits together. It's almost like you can just reference the type itself here. This is an example of a recursive type.